Pineapple is one of the most loved fruit, not just in the US, but throughout the globe. The total market size of pineapple reached 27.08 billion US dollars in 2023 alone and appears to grow significantly in the upcoming years, thanks to advanced AI machinery and modern farming methods. In this video, we shall talk about how these tasty fruits are harvested and prepared with modern methods for optimal quality before we can get our hands on them. This step-by-step -step guide will help you learn everything you need to know about pineapple harvesting. So, before we begin, hit the like and subscribe button to stay in touch with our latest videos on farming and agriculture. Preparing Land Pineapples grow best in the soil that is neither too wet nor too dry. They like soil that drains well, meaning water doesn't get stuck but moves through easily. Sandy soils work well for this. Also, the pH level of the soil should be between 4.5 to 6.5. To prepare the land for seeding, farmers first make sure the land is not too dry. They also check the pH level of the land with some advanced machines like HANA Instruments HI98103 Checker pH Tester. Also, other factors like the warmness of the region are also considered because pineapples grow in tropical or warm places as they need more sunlight. With these factors, the compost is also spread all over the fields to improve the fertility of the soil. After assessing these basic requirements, farmers move on to plowing the land. For this purpose, they use advanced machinery with GPS systems. One such machinery is a moldboard plow. This equipment has curved large blades and it can be attached to any tractor. As the tractor moves in the field, this equipment penetrates the soil, cuts through it, and turns it over. This process makes sure the soil is loose by breaking up the hard soil and also helps remove the stones. While some farmers further till the soil in order to create a seedbed for the pineapples, most farmers directly plant suckers in the land. Planting For planting, the first step is to make sure the land is properly leveled. If the land is not leveled, it will affect the flow of water from reaching every corner of the land. So, an advanced machine, a laser-guided land leveler, is used. How does it work? A laser-guided land leveler works by emitting a laser beam over the field, which is received by a sensor mounted on the leveler. The sensor constantly measures the height of the laser beam from the ground. As the leveler moves, hydraulic actuators adjust the blade height to maintain a consistent level relative to the laser beam, ensuring even soil distribution across the field. Meanwhile, fertilizers are also added at the same time to make the soil more fertile. After leveling the land, it is not time for planting suckers or slips in the soil. Sure, the pineapples have seeds but farmers prefer using suckers or slips to ensure a consistent growth of the fruits and better quality. After planting, farmers take care of the crops for 18 to 36 months depending upon the kind of pineapple of the condition of the region. They ensure the plants have the ideal moist soil condition. Also, regular pesticides and herbicides are used to keep the crops protected. Harvesting After 18 to 36 months, farmers make sure the pineapples are ready based on their color and size. Then, advanced machines such as pineapple harvesters are used to harvest them. First, the operator guides the harvester to the ripe pineapple. As the machine is in the right location, its grippers or hands gently lift the fruits without damaging the crops. These fruits are then moved to the conveyor belts. Trained workers stationed along the conveyor belt carefully assess the ripeness of each pineapple. Using sharp knives or specialized cutting tools, they expertly detach the ripe fruits from the plants. The conveyor belt then takes over again, transporting the harvested pineapples to a designated collection point at the end of the machine. What do you think about the pineapple harvester machine? Let us know in the comments section. The pineapples are then collected into tractors and are then transported to the factories for processing. Cleaning The pineapples are first unloaded outside the factory where they pass on a conveyor belt for visual inspection. All the defective or damaged fruits are removed during this inspection. After that, they are loaded into wooden cartons and then placing them into large soaking tanks or pre-washing tanks. These tanks are full of a mixture of water or some sort of cleaning chemicals. This solution removes all the remaining dirt or debris on the pineapples and then it gets soaked, leaving the fruits alone. After initial cleaning, these fruits moved into interconnected machines one by one with the help of a conveyor belt. The first machine consists of brush washers, and a combination of the rotating brush washing mechanism and water pressure is applied to the fruits to ensure a thorough cleaning. 
The pressure of the water and the type of brush may vary depending on the softness of the fruits. After brushing, the produce undergoes another rinse cycle to wash away loosened debris and any detergent or cleaning solution that was used in the process. These multiple stages of cleaning ensure the pineapples are cleaned thoroughly and meet international hygiene standards. Drying After cleaning, the conveyor belt, then, takes the fruits to another set of machines for drying the food properly. The first step involves a centrifuge which means pineapples spin rapidly in the machine for some time. As a result, they leave the excess water which is removed from the machine through drainage channels. This initial spin significantly reduces the moisture content, preparing the pineapples for the next stage. Next, the fruits enter into large ovens for further drying. In these ovens high temperature is maintained and hot air circulates inside which removes the remaining moisture from the fruits. This moisture normally vaporizes and then exists with the circulating air. This process generally concludes the drying process. However, if we have finished products such as freeze-dried snacks, then freeze-drying process is also used. First, the pineapples are frozen at incredibly low temperatures, turning them into solid blocks. Then, under a vacuum, the pressure is lowered, causing the frozen water to sublimate. This extensive process of drying guarantees the pineapples are moisture-free which means they are easy to store. Final Product While some raw dried pineapples are the final products, most of them undergo further processing to get the desired final product. One product is canned pineapples, which are only the inner edible part of the fruit. To get this, fruits are first peeled off with the help of peeler machines that remove the external shell and the inner core of the fruit. These machines have rotatory blades that efficiently remove only the outer layer. Depending upon the desired product, the pineapples are either sliced down into smaller slices or chunks. Some products are made from crushed or grounded pineapples. For this purpose, hammer mills utilize powerful, rotating hammers that smash the flesh into a coarse or medium grind, ideal for fillings or toppings. Grinding mills, equipped with stones or discs, pulverize the fruit into a finer powder for a more delicate form. Packaging Once the desired products are finalized, they then move to the packaging stage, again through conveyor belts. These belts may have several pathways for the different products of pineapples. This process helps sort the products according to the color, quality, size, or type of the pineapples. Any defective or rotten pieces are removed. Similarly, the products of low quality are separated and sent to a different pathway for packaging. These products will move to the filling machines where different types of bags or pouches are used to fill the products. If the final product is slices or chops, then they are packed accordingly. Similarly, canned pineapples or ground pineapple products are filled in cans. The sizes of the packaging may vary according to the variations in the products. Some products are even packaged in big containers. When the pineapple is filled in, a special liquid solution is also added filled in alongside them. This liquid not only provides a fresh aroma that enhances the taste of the product, but it also prevents the product from any harmful bacteria or diseases. Thus, it makes sure the product can be stored in these bags or cans for quite a long period. Labeling is the next step in which essential information such as product name, origin, weight, expiration date, nutritional information, and health warnings are printed on the bags or cans. They are printed, applied, and inspected for accuracy before packaging materials are distributed. For this purpose, advanced vision systems or inkjet printers are used. These machines are efficient and quick and can label hundreds of products in literally no time. This is the final step that is done in the factories. This means the products are ready, so they are stored in their storage areas and then later distributed to suppliers or wholesalers. Passing through various distribution channels, the pineapples finally reach the consumer market where we can buy them. And with this, we reach the end of our video. Are you satisfied with this hygienic and quick process of preparing our pineapples? If yes, kindly hit like and subscribe to the video to get more videos. If you have some suggestions or insights to share, please do so in the comments section. We will see you in the next video.